What's going on guys? Today we are going to be unboxing a keyboard from mechanicalkeyboards.com. If you don't know about that website, check them out. I'll put the link in the description down below. But we are going to be unboxing none other than the Ducky 1-2 Mini Keyboard. I've heard a lot of good things about this keyboard and I've watched a ton of reviews on it before purchasing. I hope I'm not disappointed. I'll let you guys kind of see the first impression. I have never laid my hands or eyes on this keyboard physically. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the unboxing. All right, boys. So as stated, we're hopping into the unboxing now. We got the keyboard box from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Uh, as stated, link in the description down below if you would want to check it out yourself, you can. Um, but I'm very excited about this keyboard. I've been waiting on it for a little over a week now. And it's finally in. So I'm going to give you guys my first initial thoughts on a few different points. Uh, the first being how the keyboard looks. The overall quality of it and the sound of the keyboard uh, for this keyboard in particular we went with cherry mx red switches and the uh, keycap set that i ordered is not actually in with this but i'll give you guys an updated video later on when i do change out the keycaps as well as post a picture on my social media accounts at athlete squad pb also links in the description down below if you'd like to check those out. Um, if you want to see me play with this keyboard, feel free to check us out on Twitch. We live stream three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Twitch. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below as well as everything else. But initial thoughts over the Ducky 1-2 Mini and... Our creator sticker that we got for free with it pretty cool they give you an option to choose something free from a drop down menu I just so happen to create the purple uh, creator sticker that I'm gonna throw on my Yeti later on so pretty cool there but initial packaging thoughts I think it's really cool they put their logo on it all the way across inside the plastic wrap and then Outside of that, you got the initial box. It weighs just under three pounds, for those who are wondering. And this one, as stated, the switches that are inside of it are the Cherry MX Reds. It's the first time that I'm going to be opening this, so I'm kind of going to take my time. Per million actuations, I've watched endless videos on it but the packaging itself looks super super nice if you're looking at this and you kind of see some edge pieces that are longer than the other it's based off of the type of packaging that they have but super kind of like holographic looking design for that but nonetheless let's go ahead and give her a pop open you say we got this tab right here, duckychannel.com, TW. So, first things first, you got the Ducky dust cover. So, you can pop on the keyboard when you're not playing. Or it might just be a packaging thing, but I'll probably throw this on when I'm not playing. And then inside the box, you got the keyboard itself, which for those of you who are wondering, uh, the current keyboard that I'm using is a HyperX FPS Pro 60% keyboard. I believe it's 60%, but this feels a lot smaller than that one. So we'll see. I'll give you guys a comparison once we get into that. It looks like I got some blue keys that came with it. For those of you who are new to this channel or you do not know who Ducky is, they are a keyboard company and when you purchase a keyboard through them, you happen to get 10 extra keys 
that are completely random in color every time. So I got the all black RGB edition and I just so happen to get blue keys it looks like. So that's super sick. Uh, initial thoughts of it, it's got a good three pound weight to it. Like I said, uh, doesn't feel too heavy. Definitely a lot lighter than my other one. But you got the Ducky One branding right here on the right hand side. As well as a USB type C cable, which is completely different than the HyperX, which is a, uh, a micro USB cable. So that's pretty sick. And then on the back side, you got their branding and stuff for, uh, the, I believe this is the weight. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe this is a weight for the case of the keyboard. So you got four rubber stops, and then you got three levels of height adjustment. You got flat, which is where it's at right now. You got slightly angled right there. And then you got a higher slant right there. I'll kind of experiment with it since my current keyboard, I keep completely flat. I might stick with that, but I might try out a few different ones to see how I like. I played about a 30% angle anyways. So like I said, we'll probably play with that. I'm not really sure what this does, but I have seen some videos on it. I'll have to remember, but we'll get to that push this forward and give you guys an initial sound test. Not too clicky. Kind of like the sound of it, honestly. So as for the remainder of the box, we've got the USB cable here, which I just noticed. I don't know if it's like this for all of them. I'm assuming it is, but the cable wrap that came with it happens to be in the same color as the keycaps. That's super, super sick. In my opinion, it's the small details that really do it for me. So that's pretty sick. And it's not just some generic USB cable either. It's got their branding on it. Uh, Ducky right there. And then this side just says SS for the uh, USB type C. Put that to the side. Next up, we got our keycap puller for changing out some of the keys if we wanted to or which we are going to do. Um, here in a little bit, but go ahead and pull that out for you guys if you're wondering what it's supposed to do or anything. Basically just slide it down there, pop it off. Like that right there. And for those of you who didn't already see it, we don't have arrow keys on the side over here. But, I don't know if you guys can see that real well. We also got side printed keys on top of our top printed keys that show us different macros that we can actually use. So that's pretty cool. That's gonna take some time to get adjusted to, uh, potentially. Next up, we got a super clean Year of the Mouse space bar. I'll probably replace this one with that. When we get there and then eh, as I thought we got some blue keycaps as well as an extra inner bar over here if I wanted to use the black one instead of the blue one we're gonna switch to all blue so I'll go ahead and do that now
All right, so this is what the product looks like after exchanging a few of the keys. And I still got three extra keys that I can currently use, but I don't think I'm gonna use these three in particular. I might use this one for one of the windows key. Maybe, maybe that one, but nonetheless, I really like the quality of it. Now that I've switched out a few of the keys, it looks really, really clean. And let's power this baby on, see what it looks like. All right, so we got our USB type C cable. We're about to plug in right now. Super, super clean. This compared to my current keyboard looks super sick. I do not have full RGB on that other keyboard, by the way, it's just a solid red color. So super, super sweet. I'm gonna flip a couple of these lights off just so you guys can get an idea of how it looks with all the uh, RGB going. As you can tell, very, very super, super vibrant. And it looks even better now that I turn the lights off. Holy crap. This is still with the only light being on in my room is my ring light that is right here. You guys seen on my hand. But that is super sick. Very, very excited for it. I'll give you guys a comparison. So this is my Ducky One Too Many. And this is my HyperX FPS Pro. You see, we basically cut this entire part off into that keyboard so it's a lot smaller footprint on your desk and i might even let's let's try one of these keys which are the hyper x uh double shot pbt keycaps let's try the let's try this shift key and show you guys the difference so for this key in particular, this will give us a good understanding of how we can um, see the difference between the HyperX FPS and the Ducky 1-2 Mini relate to one another. So that's what the RGB looks like without a key on it. Super vibrant, very addressable. There's there's not a whole lot of uh, harsh light coming from it. And this is what it looks like with the HyperX FPS keycaps that I had uh, recently had on my HyperX. So it's nice because it shines through a lot more. Especially on the sides and stuff. But I don't know. I've I've really been wanting some rubber keycaps, so that's kind of the direction that I'm going in. Um these are still nice, and of course I will still have these on hand if I do happen to want to make a, another disc, uh, keyboard review and or if I wanted to swap them out I could still do that so that's gonna be super sick but. all right so I figured while we were here I would showcase some of the RGB functions that happens to work with this keyboard so I'll just cycle through a few of them let you guys to kind of decide what you think is a really good one to work with or something you don't like, dislike, 
all that good stuff drop it in the comments down below but starting off function alt and t we got a nice slow rgb function alt t got a little rainbow speckle all over the place another one's based off of the the section that you type and it'll go through the entire thing this one's based off per key so if i want to go here here i'm gonna do it based off color this one's also based off of that it'll just be one color Gonna fade away function alt t now type different spots and when these light up it's asking you to change colors so if i go see as you can see i can hold this type it a couple different times it'll be like a yellow color take out the green now you got red or pink Type red, now it's blue. Now I'm bumping up the brightness of it. Back to the original. No slow. Rainbow, which this is probably what I'll leave it on. Honestly, that looks so sick. Another one of the section. Singles. Changing it. That's letting you like dim it to a particular color if you wanted to do that. More red. Less blue. You can get like more of a, a light green, dark green. But like I said, I'll probably either do that or this one. I, I really, really like this one. This one's super, super sick. But so yeah, that's what we got for the RGB. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the ducky one too many and let me know if i did a good job picking up this keyboard if there's another suggestion you think i should do and how you like the keycap set that came with it i got another one on the way that's going to be all white keycaps with some purple accents but I'm, i may switch it up again just let me know uh, if you got a certain theme you think would look really good with this drop it down in the comments below and as always, have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't miss this. I got two.